Our question was, we were looking at approaches to engaging staff and students in conversations around assessment criteria and probably two main areas of focus. Um, one was around making the criteria available to staff and students so that they were there for conversations among staff about the consensus about what matters and for students about making sure that they knew where to find them and that they were able to not just know where they were but understand what they meant. And then there was a, a range of very different practices that people were doing um, in the different disciplines about how they were using assessment criteria. And in particular, I think what was probably striking was how many people were suggesting how students doing self-assessment, students doing peer assessment, were really critical ways of ensuring that students understood assessment criteria and had opportunities to explore them and what they meant for their learning. And if you want to follow up on that work, a really good source on self and peer assessment, the best as far as I'm concerned, is David Bowne's work. And David Bowne talks about the real importance of students getting an understanding of how assessment criteria and weightings and so on work by actually involved, getting involved in their own and each other's assessment. In that if you have watched others being assessed then and been part of that and actually assessed others, then you're going to have better meta-assessment te techniques and, and capabilities. Okay?